Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about French girl style. I'm going to go over some of the things I've noticed from my own personal trips and then also things I've picked up from wonderful women here on YouTube and on Instagram that actually live in France. And these are hopefully going to be tips that we can all apply to our wardrobes in order to get that very effortless look that we associate with French women. Now before we hop into it, I want to say that a lot of the videos and guides that you see on this topic tend to be a very generalized stereotype and they represent a very narrow representation not only of women but also certainly French women. So I hope that I'm not going to perpetuate any of those today and instead offer things that we can all use regardless of whether or not we look like Emmanuel Alt or want to dress like her. So let's get started. First up is personal style over fashion. One thing that I've noticed very consistently has been an emphasis on really enhancing your style and not so much following what everyone else is wearing. It's something I really, really appreciate. It's something that you can find really everywhere. This is not exclusive to France by any means, but it seems to be really celebrated in France. And it's something that I really love because as you know, if you've been to this channel before, it's something I really encourage. I encourage all of us to take that time for ourselves and really try to find our style and really try to find things that feel like us. Things that when we wear them are an extension of who we are. So when we represent ourselves to the world, we're in harmony basically. We aren't uncomfortable. We're wearing things that we love. And I think at the end of the day, that is far more beneficial than any one article of clothing that you can wear. It becomes a thing that comes from the inside almost. You just look at peace with yourself and you can engage with people around you. You're not constantly tugging at your clothes and worrying about how you look that day. And instead, you are wearing things that just enhance you so you can really live your life. And I love that. Along those same lines, there really seems to be an emphasis on a few classics worn really well. So a few things that are really timeless, things that you can wear through your 20s, all the way through your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, things that can become the cornerstone to your personal style, playing off of the first tip, and things that have been tailored and custom to you to really enhance all of that. So instead of constantly chasing trends and constantly worrying about wearing what is in fashion at that moment, there is a strong focus on finding pieces that can really take you through your life and really trying to find what those are for yourself and then fully embracing them. So rather than changing up your jean silhouette just because the magazines are telling you to, you are wearing the same jeans that you love because they work for you. They work for your lifestyle. You feel great in them and they go with the rest of your wardrobe. And I love that. That's something that I've really been working on for myself the past couple years. And I've noticed a huge benefit when I stopped focusing on what everyone else was telling me to wear and instead focused on what I loved to wear and finding those timeless pieces within my own wardrobe, I became much happier with not only how I looked, but also how I felt. And I think that when fashion is in harmony with you, those things line up so beautifully. And it's something that you can't buy. It's just something that becomes so effortless. And I think that's something really beautiful about French fashion in particular. When many of us think of French style, I think we're thinking of Parisian style. And at the end of the day, that really is city dressing. And as a former city liver myself, I lived in New York City for six years, I can personally attest that city dressing tends to come down to necessity, really. So a lot of the things that we associate with French style and Parisian style are out of functionality. And I think one of the cornerstones of that is a lack of space. When you're living in a small apartment, sometimes a very historic old apartment, maybe without a closet or a very small closet, you don't have enough room to just buy things aimlessly. So there really is this strong focus on quality over quantity and really making sure that you're buying things that you can rely on. So you're not just aimlessly buying things because you don't have the space to do that. So there was this real shift in thinking, I think, that is beautiful and something that we can all incorporate something that I work really hard on trying to retrain myself to do, especially if you've been exposed to rampant consumerism that so many of us have, it's very difficult to undo a lot of those habits. But once you start looking at your clothing as something that you want to have around for a very long time, it changes how you look at it. 
So really focusing on high quality pieces that are going to be versatile for you, I think is fantastic. Something I love, I highly encourage everyone to do, and I think a beautiful cornerstone of French fashion as well. Because the wardrobes tend to be on the smaller sides and there is an emphasis on quality over quantity, I think that's why we have such a beautiful use of accessories with French fashion. And really making sure that you're able to wear something a bunch of different ways and have it look brand new. So really playing around with great earrings, beautiful scarves, oh, you know how I feel about scarves, and I think that those are absolutely 100% used in a variety of ways in France that I always find very inspiring, but also handbags and great shoes and great sunglasses. That's something I really noticed the last time I was there most recently is just how many great sunglasses there are and eyeglasses and how those are really used as a personal accessory and an extension of personal style in great colors and great shapes. I just love it. And I think that by finding a few accessories for yourself that really represent your personal style and you can just throw on are so helpful for making you feel your best. Like I mentioned earlier, when many of us are thinking of French style, I think we're envisioning Parisian style. And that really comes down to city dressing. And city dressing is all about practicality. You really need things that are going to be useful for your life, things you can actually wear to live. And I think that that translates really beautifully into personal style and the adaptation of personal style, because all of us love to see things that you can actually live your life in. And we love seeing women represent that. So really spending time to find those pieces for yourself is invaluable, I think. I highly recommend finding beautiful footwear that's comfortable, things that will last a long time when walking in cities, things that will protect your feet, especially depending on where you're living, and things that are going to be comfortable. It's one thing to look great, but it's another to actually be comfortable, and I highly recommend finding that middle ground. I think it's very possible. And then also, I think that's why when a lot of us think of French style, we think of darker colors. Much like living in any major city, you have to worry about grime and kind of city ugh, all over the place. So it's important to have colors that won't really show any stains. Things you can wear from day to night. Things that can take you from work into a beautiful restaurant. So dark wash denim, things like a really dark, beautifully tailored blazer, and trench coats, things that are practical. A trench coat will keep your beautiful outfit protected when you're in a city walking and you get caught in the rain. And then a beautiful handbag that can accommodate all of those things. Something really sturdy and durable that you can put your change of shoes into something less practical for dinner. And then a trench coat, an umbrella, maybe your makeup, anything you're gonna need throughout the day. A tote bag, a reusable tote bag so you can get groceries and not have to worry about not having anywhere to put them. All of these things, a real focus on practicality again, I think is just, it's so nice. Something we can all really implement into our own style. Even though Paris is home to so many amazing designers that we all covet, I personally see very few designer goods or obvious designer goods while in France. And I think that comes down to a couple of reasons. I've heard um, from other people here on YouTube that part of that is because the taxes are so high, so it's not possible to own a lot of these things. But I think it also comes down to an emphasis on personal style and again, quality over quantity and really making sure that something is gonna be a good investment for your own personal wardrobe instead of wanting something just because it's designer. So really focusing on how something's been made and whether or not you'll be able to enjoy it for many years I think is a really really great way to look at fashion and I think it's something we can all implement into our own wardrobes. If there is something designer that you really want I think that's more than okay obviously but I don't think that should be why you want something and I think that that's a really healthy way to look at not only shopping but also style because I don't think you can buy style. I think style is attainable at every single price point. And I certainly don't think you need designer to be stylish. So I really appreciate that. I think it's a very freeing thing. 
and it's something that is just so beautifully done, I think, by so many amazing fashion icons. And last but not least is the emphasis on fashion being for everyone. There doesn't seem to be a limitation on who can participate in fashion, and I love that. I think that regardless of what you look like and how old you are, we can all truly find our own unique personal style. And I love that about French style and French women. There seems to be this real eagerness to participate that I just love. And I think that the more we do that for ourselves, the happier we are because it becomes an extension of everything else. Obviously, fashion is not the only thing that matters, but I do think it has a really great potential for enhancing our lives and making us feel like we're participating in life in a way that is a true extension of who we are on the inside. So I love that. And it's something that I think is just so wonderful to fully embrace. And especially with the internet now, we have access to so many different personal styles that we can truly see all of the opportunity and all of the potential out there and use that to better ourselves. So I will link some amazing inspiration down below for you. And I hope that you go down the rabbit hole and really start finding that for yourself if you haven't already and just seeing how it can truly enhance your life. And then of course, focusing on things beyond fashion, great hobbies, loving those around you and participating in life and just really embracing everything as it comes to you, I think is a lovely sentiment that we can all use. And there you have it. Those are some of my tips for achieving French girl style, some good things we can implement into our own wardrobes to achieve that effortless chic look that we all want and things that we can use to enhance our own personal style. I hope that you liked this and you found it helpful. And I would love to know in the comments down below a fashion icon of yours. Who is someone that you love for style? I want to grow my arsenal of great fashion. So please let me know in the comments down below. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.